Romans chapter 3, verses 12. Put on, therefore, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, a heart of compassion, kindness, lowliness, humility, and perseverance. I gotta say this. I just experienced this right, right now. I said, We are God's chosen ones. We are God's chosen people. We are chosen to this world out there. We are chosen to them. We are holy. We are beloved. We gotta have a heart of compassion. Just a moment ago, this homeless guy, he stopped me. I was going to Walmart and he stopped me. He just asked me, Hey, can you go and get me a subway? Just that. You know, he wanted a subway. Yeah, and I went back, I got him a subway. He, this guy was so broken. He was so broken. I commenced to pray for him right then and there. Because it broke my heart. The compassion. The compassion that I got. That it, for, it developed for this guy. You know, I began to pray for him. You know, the, the humility. You know, the perseverance. We got to have compassion for these people. We got to have compassion for them. The world is going to eat them up. The world does not have no pity on them. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9. See, you're a chosen race. You are chosen by God. You're the one that is chosen. A royal priesthood. You're a holy nation of people for God. You're chosen for God and by God. Your own, as God's own possession. You're God's possession. He owns you. And he tells you to go and talk to a homeless person. He tells you to go feed a homeless person. You do it. So that you may be proclaimed the excellencies of him. You may proclaim the excellence of God. Who has called you out of darkness. He called you out of darkness just the same way he called that homeless person out of darkness. He's going to call that homeless person out of darkness. Into his marvelous light. We better have a heart of compassion for those people. We better show kindness to those people.